Yo, what up, my young king? It's your boy Prince over here from BeastMoMag.com, and I'm back here with another video, okay? So one of my subscribers actually asked me, how do you isolate girls from a group of friends, okay? So if you guys are going out and approaching, it's gonna be times where you're like, you actually have to go approach a group or you have a wingman, but you have a girl and you wanna know how to isolate. So if you're having this kind of problem, make sure to watch this whole video through because the last point is the most important point, okay? If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to like and make sure to subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Okay, so the first thing you wanna know is like, yo, make sure to know who the leader of the pack is, okay? The reason I say make sure to learn who the leader of the pack is, cause you can try to isolate the girl, but if you're not cool with the leader of the pack or she doesn't like you, she's gonna make all the friends go, okay? The leader of the pack is the girl who basically controls the move. So basically when you go approach this girl, She's gonna be asking like, yo, what are you guys doing? Or she's gonna be the one that jump in the conversation. She's gonna be the one that's more in tuned, okay? So always identify this. And you, if she's not the one you guys are approaching, make sure to get on her good side, okay? You can be gaming your girl, but make sure to talk to the leader pack. This is one girl you don't wanna isolate. Cause when it comes down to you actually trying to isolate her, you're gonna need her on your side, okay? And then number two, you wanna try and get physical as fast as possible, okay? You can't just wait till you isolate with her to get physical. You have to start it in the initial reaction, okay? So you guys can see like some of the clips, like right here, I'm actually getting physical with her right away, okay? So I can easily isolate her. So now think about it, like yo, you're talking to a girl and you don't know if she's that interested in you, but you haven't made your move yet. Why is she gonna isolate with you just to talk? So when you isolate with her, you're gonna make your move then? That's, I mean, that's a little more or less subtle and girls like it when it happens naturally, okay? So you're basically asking her like, hey, let's go over here because I wanna make my move there, okay? No, sometimes you have to actually break that touch barrier fast, okay? So this is why, like right away, you wanna try and touch her arms, okay? Like when I say, hey, I'm old, sometimes I'll touch a girl right here to, to break the touch barrier, okay? Or sometimes I'll grab their hands and hold their hands. Or sometimes I grab her right here and kiss it. Just so I'm breaking the touch barrier and she get comfortable with me touching her. Yeah, I apologize. I guess when I see girls I like, I just- What's your name? I'm Olu. Olu? Olu. Olu. You ever mess with Nigerian? No. Why haven't you messed with Nigerian? I ain't have Nigerian food. You have not? Bro, you don't want Nigerian food. That shit gonna make your booty fat. Yeah. I'm Olu. Your what? Oh. Uh. I'm saying my name. <laughs> I know, I know. His name is Olu. <laughs> Damn. Oh, what did I gotta say? My name is Kavon. What's up? What's up? We about to get married. We about to get married. I don't even know your name. A lot of times, if you grab her waist or grab her grab her waist, it's easier for her to move her because like you can grab her waist and then move her over here, okay? Like even isolate, if you move her five steps away, that's still somewhat isolation because you can talk to her, okay? And also, another point is you want to have incentives, okay? So one thing I used to do when I was younger, sometimes I still do it. So when I'm at like places where like they dance or where they're grinding, like sometimes I'll grind with a girl and then I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a skinny guy. So like sometimes I can't hold the girl up. I'll be falling, boom, boom, boom. So like, I'll take her to the wall. Like, you'd be like, just grab her, you'd be dancing with her, grab her hand, grab her hand right here, and then take her to the wall, call me to the wall. So then I start dancing with her there. So this is isolation. And girls are more likely to dance on the wall because it's less work on them. Or I'll take them to a chair or a chair or to the bar area so I can dance on them there. But if you go to clubs where they don't dance, this is also easier, okay? A lot of guys say don't buy them a drink, but you can take her to the bar. I mean, if you wanna buy her a drink, you can buy her a drink, okay? So take her to the bar, that's a way to isolate her, okay? You, but you just had hope she doesn't run, okay? So this is when it comes to picking who you take to the bar, okay? Is a girl you take have high interest and she's not asking for a drink, you can take her to the bar just to isolate her. Or you can be like, hey, let's go to the dance floor. Cause some girls with their high energy, they want to dance. Like even they dance like this, you know? Ooh, ooh, you know? <laughs> I don't be doing none of that. But it's like, I'm not gonna lie, I be doing a, ah. <laughs> for my Africans, y'all know what I be doing. But, um. Yo, you can dance, take her isolate, take her to the dance floor, okay? Another way is you can isolate her, like yo, be like, hey, let's go to a spot where it's not as loud because I can't really hear you, okay? So this all depends on if the girl is really interested. So you guys have to be able to spot her choosing signals. See, you guys want to try and make eye contact with her as fast as possible and not break that eye contact, okay? When you don't break that eye contact, it shows confidence, okay? 
Like. That's her spring break, so I came in the hair. You been having fun? Yeah, it's a PSG break. How long y'all been here? Monday morning. That was Thursday. Yesterday. Yesterday morning, Thursday. Mm -hmm. The difference between a girl and a guy, I've actually read this in a book and heard some studies about this. When an infant is first born, like babies, girls will make strong eye contact with you because they're reading your subconscious mind. But if you try it with a, a boy baby, he's gonna look away. But if you try it with a girl baby, it's gonna break. So from the moment they're young, little babies, they communicate through eye contact. They communicate through long stares because they can feel your emotion, okay? And feeling the emotion like this is transformed through females from a very young age, okay? Because like, how's a mom supposed to know how a baby's feeling, okay? They only know by their subconscious feeling because babies can't talk. They just cry and say, goo ga ga. <laughs> so like, girls really know how this feels, okay? And then use this to your advantage, okay? You want to sub communicate. You don't want. You don't have to straight up ask her. You can just start leading her, hold her hands, be like, and start walking her this way. Okay, like girls would just naturally fall if you just hold her hands and go this way. Okay, and then I want you guys to remember. Okay, girls are attracted to how they feel. Okay, girls are attracted to the strongest energy in the room. Okay, so if a girl decides to isolate with you and leave her friends. That means your energy was higher than hers, okay? That means you're the best fun in the room, okay? If a girl leaves the club, it's not because the club wasn't bad, it's because you're the life of the party. That's why she's leaving with you and she's having more fun and interaction with you, okay? So this is why like sometimes going to like dry boring clubs is kind of easy because it's easier to get girls to leave that place. Cause like yo, you guys are probably more lit than an actual club because it's dry, okay? You guys can easily be like, hey, wanna go get some food, okay? Or hey. Do you want to go to my spot, okay? I have some wine and pizza, okay? So these are ways to get girls to leave. You have to have an incentive sometimes, okay? Sometimes you have to have incentives. Like one of the things I used to do a lot is like I would be talking to a girl, then I move her to the bar, okay? So now I really made her move, then I move her to the steps. So then once you move her to the steps, it might be easier because then you can be like, hey, let's go downstairs, okay? Once you go downstairs, then you can go outside for fresh air. So now you constantly get her moving, moving, moving. This is why it's fun to venue hop with girls, okay? If you're in an area where there's less covers, like, yo, try venue hopping. Like, if you venue hop with a girl three times, she's already used to going different places. And that's more dates, okay? That's more than one dates, okay? So a lot of times when I go out approaching, like, I'll approach a girl on the street and then be like, hey, we're about to go to this bar, come with us, okay? And I come with them there. Sometimes we don't end up staying, but that's still a venue that we went to, and then we can run into them again, okay? So yo guys, you guys like this kind of content, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and I freaking appreciate every single one of y'all that leave a comment, okay? So yo, I have a free ebook inscription, you can get any woman you want, only six steps. You guys are interested in personal coaching, I have my link up here. And then if you guys are interested in Skype coaching, I have my link too, okay? So yo, make sure to sign up for the Facebook group. Yo guys, I'm out. Thank you.